Okay, Mountain Blade Sword Nerds, we should be live right now um, for the week two clash between IG and KHR in the WNL. I'm joined by Eman. Hi there. Now, and Mix. How do you pronounce these guys? Um, Gardevist. I use the acronyms, but. and Karakterniki. I believe, I believe that's correct. Karak I should say for the people who don't know, I'm Captain Lust, Community and Public Relations Manager at Tailworld Entertainment. I do live streams that are on the channel MBTV. Me man, and I I make funny warband videos. It's funny warband videos. videos, exactly. Check them out. Yeah. Cool gaming bros. You can see uh, the link I on the play screen. A lot of siege. He's a lot of a siege. Lot. You love siege. You I love siege. You can't blame the man for loving siege. I'm pretty good at the game. I think I got like I would call myself a warband expert, right? Yeah, yeah. that's like. <laughs> You're an expert. Here. You're a siegist. Yeah. Sieger. Yes, I've assaulted and taken many a flag, dude. Uh, what about defending? You any good? Siege, man. Um. Actually, I defend more than I attack, honestly. Oh, really? Just because I don't like the um, the uphill climb uh. offense has to do on so many maps. You have the weight, the respawn weight. Um, no, no, but that's cool because I can game and then I can chill and talk about what just happened. Oh, but that's beautiful. If your offense, you gotta always just be hitting W. <laughs> you, you speak the truth. I'm all over it. Anyway, tonight's match. Let's talk about it. God of Astinia, character Niki, week two. Both teams um, got a win last week. Did you know that? Um, this one is, KHR is Character Nikki, right? Character Nikki, yeah. They're a Ukrainian yes. clan, they're from well, Ukraine. Both teams have to what? They both got a win last week. IG beat Knights of the Dragon. 16 to 0. Character Nikki beat oh, Defenders of One Wookiee. 11 to 5. Well, undefeated, but still, they come in both victors, so someone's gonna leave real sore. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but... I... Go ahead. Hasn't can a character Nikki already won, honestly? Because, like, guards uh, of Istinia are forfeiting. There's no IG players in the server yet, but it's no, this. But play. let me tell you a little, Let me tell me something about IG. IG are very, a very, very, very organized team. I do not believe they'll be uh, forfeiting a match through lack of attendance. I think they'll show up. Uh, I think all oh, of them. I think all of them will show up. <laughs> that all of them will show up. They'll be the instant join. Like, they all come in at the same time in about I don't know four or minutes or something like that. And they'll be like twenty. They'll be like tw the exactly. There'll be twenty of them. Yeah. Seat. Don't worry about it. There'll be there'll be a mass invasion. The game will happen. I'm almost certain of it. I like this messing around. It reminds me of Siege. Yeah, the sort of pre-match messing yes. around. Viewers can't see that. We've got nice. It's, we've got a splash screen covering up the. Oh, um, we have the splash screen. Got the splash oh, screen. Well, if you don't know what's going on, character Nikki here are just like they're warming up. The yeah, they're yeah. doing some infantry battles on uh, four one. Warming up. I don't know. They're just sweating out, sweating out a few rounds. I think, um, I'm just fancying Character Niki tonight. IG had a much easier time last week than Character Niki did, so they've not really, perhaps not been tested as much. I assume they've been doing some training matches, they've been sweating some hard workout, but Character Niki beat defenders of One Wookiee last week, and One Wookiee are not a bad team. Perhaps not the most organized, but Wait, they have, um... Did you just call them a bad team? No, defend, their, their, their opponents from last week are not a bad team, is what I said. Oh, I... You just straight out called a team bad. Ah, I never call a what? team bad. The well, actually, the thing is, Knights of the Dragon perhaps are bad. That's IG's opponent from last week. So that's what I'm oh, concerned yeah. about. I'm concerned IG haven't, they haven't perhaps been as they warmed up as Carrot. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But they, I mean, they'll, so IG have had it easy. they'll oh, have been playing training like matches. Joining. Look at this, all in, yeah, look, what did I tell you? Gate. They're all joining it's right at the same time. Gate. They're all in. I told you. I like this. The game's already started because they're playing the mind games. Man. This is IG. This is how they roll. They do these things. Oh, that is nice. These guys are just are goofing around. They're not ready for this. This is a game, but at the same time, it's a match. <laughs> you know? I have no idea what I have no idea what you're talking about. What, what do you mean it's a game? At the same, that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, we're playing a video game, right? But this is like uh, serious okay. gaming. And these guys, this is eSports. Welcome to eSports. This is eSports, yes. These guys are coming in. They're coming in strong and making a good showing. And these guys are just like goofing. <laughs> Maybe they're that confident. Maybe they're that confident. Confident enough to goof, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, perhaps so. I think, to be honest, I just think they're practicing. This is how... Uh... Oh, IG's here too. Oh, this is just good old fun. Wow, this is great. This is great, um... Just pre-match brutality is, you know, it's essential to get everyone in the mood, I think. More than it's anything. very bro -y, though. It's not, not oh, yeah. they don't exclude each other, they're just all just kind of goofing around. I don't think there's any bad blood between the teams at all. I think, I think, I think it's going to be a friendly affair, but, um... 
Probably it's one. Like, that... It's like the handshake before the game. Yeah, exactly. I think it'll be very close fought though, definitely, because um, IG one of the oldest and most established clans in the European scene. They won. Whoa. They've won loads of things. They've like. Wait, these guys are like. Were they champions of like previous tournaments? Won some things. I can't. I can't remember their achievements exactly. I think they perhaps have won. Um, in fact, they have won. They won an ENL, which is the tournament I used to run. And they won another tournament before that, which was being run by someone else. And they, they're a very strong team, basically. And they're, they're sort of they're known for being very large and very organized. They run the biggest clan as well in the well, European with, scene. With the cohesion they showed coming in like that. Yeah, like, exactly. They don't mess around. Thirty seconds of each other. They're very serious business. They don't have the sort of um, individual player strength that they used to have. I think that's that would be what most people would say about them. They used to have sort of the best players. The, the thing was, they just kind of like. They have their server, everyone plays on their server, and they they are the only team that starts to recruit on their server. So they just kind of would recruit all the good players and get a lot of good players uh, that way. <laughs> Seen as... server, you get the cream of the crop. Yeah, pretty much. That was their... popular server. Yeah, I think so. Is this popular? Yeah, it's, it's the most popular battle server in... This sucks. I don't, I don't play in the European scene at all. Yeah, that's no, no big deal. It's, it's laggy. Oh, yeah. From Florida would be laggy, overseas, I would have thought so. Yeah. yeah. But it sucks only because, like, um, there's not many options on the U.S. for Siege. I just don't think this game is as popular in the U.S. I don't know. I don't have stats to back it up, but I don't see anyone, like, on the street I know that knows about Warband. I think but... It's... I'm sorry, go on. I think it's like it's done pretty well for sales in the U.S., but I think maybe you have more single-player players or something, because the, the multiplayer competitive scene, at least, is definitely a bit smaller. Smaller? I thought I looked at this. I was surprised at this tournament. There's like 38 friggin' teams. No, I'm saying the the teams. the U.S. scene is smaller, competitive wise. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you know, still 38 it's. 38 teams. Yeah, it's a big tournament, the WNL. That is Warvan must be huge. Two million Warvan overall sales. Huge. That's the uh, that's the statistic we uh, roll out whenever we can. I think a lot of our sales have been in the U.S. though. Really. That's that's my information. That's my inside info. You so, can have that. The competitive scene is bigger in Europe, and and the yeah. game is just more abundant over here. I think so. Yeah, something like that. Huh. Looks like we're going live. Are we going that's live? A shame. Maybe people haven't realized the like great melee system that Warman has. Like, it feels good. I played other games like Chivalry. It just feels good. Love Warband. Right, we might be going live now. So no messing around. Let's bring up the stream. Oh, okay. So this is serious. Let's see who's. Can you check the chat. Do you have any comments about like the quality of the sound or I will anything have it like up. that? I did not have it up. I'm sorry. Problem. Do you have any comments to make? Look now. Are you happy? Yes. So um. Decent roster. The team. The teams are spawned now. There's no no messing around. Good lucks are being given out. Key players to look out for. Interesting. We're playing the open map first. I think we did the same last week. Mm -hmm. Does that ever change? Well, I don't know. It's sort of the way I, when I run the, the sort of ENL tournament, I always had the open map second. I don't think it really matters that much, but um, I think the WNL alternates, so it has the open map first one week, then the open map second the next week. Oh, I think I, I like the alternating. Yeah, map. I like the alternating. I think it's better as well, but... Um, um, what are they doing with their cab here? Which team? Um... Nords or IG, Swabia, I, uh, the uh, God of Estinia, yeah. Charakterniki. Charakterniki, yeah. Charakterniki. It's a really difficult, difficult to pronounce name. I sort of, man, I learned, I learned how to spell so it. Familiar to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's maybe it means something. It probably means something Ukrainian. Let me tell you to watch out for from Charakterniki. I'm looking at them right now. Sean Yvoron and KHR Rich. Last week against defenders of Wamuki, these guys were. Topping scoreboards, left, right, and center. Yeah, the, those Cav. The I KHR like, Cav. I like their formation over the bridge. They're going. Yeah? Well, they're, they're getting ready for the flag spawn, which is going to be in about 20-odd seconds. Um, I can tell you, KHR did better on the open map than they did on the close map. Oh, Bendetto gets the what? first kill. Uh, that's a crossbow snipe. I have no idea where the person who died died. I'm guessing somewhere in the forest. That would make the most sense to me. Character Nikki are up an archer. That's pretty good. IG responding by moving forward, sort of Ooh. on the ground here. Triari is pushing up. Nedsat's pushing up. Archivist. Flag is spawned now. Where are we at? Okay, it's. The flag is behind him. They're retreating to it. At yeah. This 
That's okay. IG are retreating to the flag. I think it's le a bit less than ideal for IG because instead of moving on to the flag, they're retreating yeah, back towards it. I don't it. think this is gonna work because the uh, character Nikki ca Cavalry can just come right in. Oh, and Vendetta gets another headshot. Vendetta looking advantage. looking hot right now. Where is Vendetta? He is doing some serious damage. Two kills already. Oh, I think that uh, I think Cav needs to help his teammates. Yeah, the KHR Cav are doing some serious work. Johnny oh, Veron gets another nice bump slash. Yeah, yeah Archivist is a nice infantryman. He's going to town on Volshin now. Aki coming in to help him, and Volshin goes down. Two kills for KHR though in the meantime, and I think they're running away with the round. Another kill for Archivist. He's going. They still have all their archers though. They need to shoot those horses. Because well, I think those horses are going to overrun them. Uh, what? You think, um... No, IG, IG... With the they have left. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. I think Character Niki have got the round, to be honest. There's only three players left on IG. Five left for Character Niki. They their horses into each other. They are falling apart. Yeah, well, that's a sign. it's a sign of, um... Oh! Mistake by Character Niki, though. They just got a headshot on themselves here. And, uh... Oh, a team kill. Yeah, it's troubling. So this is sort of a lifeline for IG. I think if Archivist can do some nice work on the flag here, then they have a chance. Archers are rushing. They're rushing in. There's four left for character Niki, uh, but Varsan goes down. It's all oh. it's all down to Archivist now. He's good. He's got to do the work. Can he? I don't think so. I oh think I think goodness. the. F he's oh, he's got one. Oh, it starts. He's fighting. I think there's too many crossbows. I think he's just taking a hit now. He's oh, no, oh. down. Goes to Vendetta. Yeah. Well, that. You couldn't even let him have his fight, man. <laughs> God, this is esports. This is esports. We don't let people do anything in esports. Yeah. But um, was... it was closer than I thought. I think uh. Archivist particularly fought really well. He's got four kills that round, even though his team lost. He got four kills. His team couldn't get four am amongst the seven of them. So I, um, they got to step it up, I think. Fought well, but I think they were caught in a poor position because character Nikki had the hill and the height advantage and the archers and just. Yeah. I think Bendetto right. getting those two headshots before anything else happened was um, brutal. I mean, it's so hard to take when you just sort of lose two players. Like that instantly. Was a good brawl, though. Everyone got involved there. Yeah. Everyone ended up with sword. People, even people on their horses, ended up fighting on feet. <laughs> fighting for their lives. Sports. Fighting for points, really, is what they're doing. Sounds less heroic, doesn't it? Fighting for points. What did Archivist buy with his money? Is he is he all swagged out? Uh, I guess he should be. Well, he did he did die as well. So he won't have oh, too much money. Four? Yeah. Well, how much money does that take? A set amount, a percentage, or? Um, no. I think it just means you, just, like, lose the gear that you have, so you got to rebuy it. Mm. That's the sort of that's the issue. Whereas if you if you stay alive, you could sort of sell your gear and buy better gear. Like you can, you you, you pay the difference between the gear. Like if you if you want to buy. They have mirrored setups. Exactly. Yeah. Three archers. This is very very cash. standard for um. Yeah, three cav, map? yeah, three cav. Seems like a very good setup for this map. Yeah, it is. Um, you generally don't want to have one infantry by themselves because it's it's hard to sort of look out for each other. You sort of have to like deal with lots of cavalry and lots of things going on at the same time. If you have two, they can support each other a bit more. That's normally, why. Normally, if they if they want to deviate, do they normally sacrifice an archer or do they add an archer or do they add a cav or? I think probably adding a, a cav is the normal thing to do. Sometimes maybe adding an archer or going like maybe like four infantry or something weird like that, going like heavy infantry and going for an early push. They're the normal deviations. The same spot as it was before. I think IG have done a better job this time. They didn't push forward. They've they're already yes. kind of on it. That's definitely a, they even a better option. A cav in the back still. Seems like two separate fights. The cav are breaking off to fight along the hill. Uh, I don't think IG want to do that. I think KHR probably have the stronger cav at the moment. Even though IG do have some good cav players, uh, Harmon and uh, Varsing definitely. Have the hill, and I've seen Star Wars, and you do not want to give someone height advantage on you. <laughs> well, no. bad things happen. Okay, bad things happen. Oh, that's a nice shot by uh, a nice oh, lance by wow. Varsung. Killed by Trari. Trari's a very strong archer. He's German. Was shot by an archer. That was great teamwork. Drari's coming fresh out of a Nations Cup victory. He's just won the Nations Cup with his, uh, Team Germany. He's a, a very strong archer. I think most people would agree. First kill goes to IG. Archivist and Netzap doing some nice work. They're sort of raising the flag now. And Rich goes down to a nice javelin by Archivist Ooh, there. Nice. It's a beautiful kill. Shawnee Veron as well uses his horse. I think the I think the KHR camera is sort of in a bit of disarray right now. I think this will cost them the round because IG are looking a lot more organized than they were in the previous round. Thing I think IG need to deal with um, these KHR crossbows. Although Aki has got a double, and they're, they're doing even, it. They're doing so already. Yeah. Footmen are bringing down the yeah. Cab. They don't play that game. This is brutal. Yeah, Triari. Wow. That was wow. Whitewash. So um, 
Much Pro much better from IG, I think, there. The, the teamwork. Yeah, really organized. And I think most, if not all, of the IG um, cavalry stayed on their horses as well. This game should t t um, take account assist. It should be on the scoreboard up there with kills. I, I couldn't agree more. Oh, that's a drop for KHR. That is not good. No They've way. lost Bendetto, yeah. Two guys, a drop? Just the one, I think. Oh, just, just Bendetto. But Bendetto was doing really well. Uh, Did he raise they, the they brought in a sub. I think they brought it. <laughs> I think was, he up, was he up in time? Was he able to join the game? I think someone else has someone else has joined uh, Ma Mazep. I don't know if that's I don't know what the Mazep has joined. I think that's legal. I think that's fine. So, so he joined within enough time to still be an even eight versus eight. Yeah, like this Mazep player joined. But the thing is, though, it means that character Nikki have an extra set of gear that's been dropped, so they have a sort of slight advantage from that drop, I suppose. So they, they lose the goal, which Bedetto earned, so it balances itself out. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to raise an eyebrow. It's a very, like, um, minor. Question, I see both these teams. Shout out goes to all these, uh, the subbers who are in here in case someone, you know, drops out or something. But if they have, they both seem to have more than eight players. Aren't they allowed to have epic or fights? Like, uh, they are, but I think most, most people sort of prefer to have the 8v8 because when you raise the number of players, it becomes a different game in a lot of ways. Whereas people train for 8v8, they want to play 8v8. Uh, sort of, if, you, if you raise it to 12v12, it's like... It's it's a different game, really. Is that tournament standard, like? AV8. Euro? Yeah, it's AV8. We have five versus five tournaments as well, but they're sort of they're normally called cool five versus five because they're different to our normal eight versus eight. Um, IG seems to be trying to divert the focus of character Nikki, but. but like they, they, they have a cavalry sort of way over by um the village over in that forest. Character Nikki staying just, fairly close to the team unit. I think they're just going to push towards the flag in the same sort of way. That cab is just planting seeds of doubt in their minds. <laughs> when that flag sprout comes up, he'll sprout. He'll... <laughs> okay, this, this flag is a lot better for Character Nikki right now. What they need to do is they need to rearrange themselves and uh, get some arch positions on it. IG are going to push straight up. You can see they're pushing via the river to get some nice cover on, the, on their approach. I really want to see their formation on the attack because they've been defending. IG have defended every flag so far. Well, you can see the two infantry going via the, the river just to not take any archer fire and to sort of remain fairly hidden. Um, character Niki, are, they've moved their crossbows back behind the flag, which is a really smart move to make sure they're fairly. Um... IG horsemen crossing the bridge. Oh, yeah, hello. We've got Varsen coming in from Ooh, the back. He's going for the flag. At the same time. I think it's going to be a battle won and lost um, on horseback right now. Hub. Mazepa goes down to Triari nice and early, but Harman's lost his horse already. I think. He lost his horse, but not his life. That's true. I think uh, I need to deal with the character Niki Horseman, though, because they're going to cu cut them up if they don't. Meanwhile, oh. kills are coming in left and right from uh, IG. Yeah, Three kills so far. Horse. I think uh, eight on five now in favor of IG. Oh, I thought the horse was going to get a kill at that point, because they are Damn. running people over. You can see Harman's actually found another horse. I think that was Shawnee Varons, who uh, Varsing took down. Nedsat takes down Rich with a, a nice war spear poke there. I think once it, I think it's gonna be another this whitewash. IG domination question: Who picked their opponent this week? This is very important. Is Got very it. Important. IG picked uh, KHR. Oh, uh, okay. But I did read how this is actually seeded and whatnot. So by IG winning, they will be unable to pick in the future, right? Like, well, not necessarily, but less likely. It's the less likely. basically, yeah. Well, that was very, that was impressive. That was very impressive. Yeah, another whitewash from IG. It's strange after the first round, they, they sort of crumbled and, but, but for these um, How next two, first round? I think it's, you know, perhaps it's a bit nervous. They just got to get warmed up. Remember KHR was sort of sweating those infantry battles. They were already there, maybe. IG just kind of needed to join, get themselves going a little Still bit. three cavs, three archer, two footmen on both sides. IG. Yeah, I think they're planning for the flag to spawn over. Right well, let's let's see. What are KHR doing now? They're doing something a bit different. They they sent their cavalry over towards the ruins. They're gonna try and have a cab battle. They've got another. They've got this guy Indigo. The crossbowman is over near the ruins as well. IG have got their cavalry over there to yeah. do a bit of predation. This could be an interesting but, face off though. I think IG want to take yeah. down this. IG want to take down this this crossbowman. Yeah. IG want IG want to. All the horsemen. Indigo already takes a hit from Varsung, and Aki takes a hit as well. It's going to be a lot of cav duels here. Indigo fighting for his life. Nice bump session by Aki there. Got to watch out as well. My goodness. One horse down. Aki loses horse, uh, I think. Oh, but Varsung comes in for the la Lance on Shawnee Varon. 
And Aki takes down Indigo. The Aki, Aki's just found a horse as well, so he can just he can remount. But he does no, he goes down to a bump slash from Rich. Nice kill. Uh, IG still. Yeah, it's a nice kill from Rich. Oh, oh hello. Yeah, and now all the cavalry are scrambling back, to, Ooh, scrambling to get back there. Result. I think IG saw they had the advantage and now looking to take Kate Gar off guard. Varsing comes in for a nice uh, couch lance in the back there, and another kill from Varsing. Oh. Varsing doing really nice work as cavalry and. I think IG played this beautifully, to be honest. They I think they did well because they had the advantage in the Cav battle and still did not win decisively enough to get there in time to save um, the Footman. Wait, who didn't? I think IG won the Cav battle. I would, I would have said. Oh, nice kill from Rich on. Oh Carson. yes, yes, they, of course they won. However, they were three versus four of, uh, of yeah. character Nikki's. Nice double jab kill from Ned Sat there. Wow, that's nice stuff. What a handsome that is guy. some nice stuff. Are they switching out players? This is what's happening? Yeah, uh, it's going to be a small break right now. We'll just bring up the splash screen again. So, so far it's 3-1 cool. to IG after those first four. Looking very strong, I think. Um, bad. Character Nikki, though, to their credit, they're doing good. They did well. I mean, they, they, they plan well. They did well in the first round, but I mean, after that, they couldn't get barely a single kill. So I think, you know, this, this is perhaps a bit worrying for them. And again, we saw in the other game that I think Swadio were much more dominant than Nords. Do you agree with that? Oh. In the other game we streamed, I thought I think Swadio did better on this map than Nords did. Didn't the, didn't the Nords outrun or? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that the. Um... Swadio kept winning. So who was Swadio there? Yeah, Swadio kept was doing better than Nord, brut brutishness. I did not even take that into account, actually. Well, the, the, the fact in, in this format, yeah, the faction and map balance is uh, very crucial because when you have the switch, you kind of see, you sort of see really how well the team was doing before because it could be the character Nikki win for O now. And in that case, IG really weren't doing as well as they needed to be doing. No, at least it wasn't a complete stomp like last week. No, I think it, is, it should be a closer game. I think it's, it's just, I'm just, I'm surprised that, um, Nords are doing better. I think perhaps it could be slightly more advanced tactics than we saw in the last game. I think Nords, if you use them properly, use their throwing weapons, especially like IG were doing, uh, they can you know, be a, they can be a very strong faction on open maps. In regards to last game, what, I read on the forums that Army, the team disbanded or something. Army, yeah, they did disband. You're right. They are no longer in the tournament. Yeah, which is yeah unfortunate. Are the players now like free floating mercenaries or? They they could join other teams. I guess they probably will do a lot of them. Um, I think their leaders were joining the Samurai team. Oh, who won between the Samurai and the Vikings? That stream didn't happen, but I, I'm not sure who won, actually. That's a shame. I know in my heart's the Viking won. <laughs> actually, no, I can tell you who won. It was Samurai. Um, really? Yeah. Samurai, Samurai are sort of, they're an old clan with um, a lot of veteran players, so, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. This wasn't like some theme role-playing match? Uh, unfortunately not. <laughs> we do need some of them. We do need some exhibition role-playing matches. Oh, those were actual teammates. Ninjas versus, you know, Vikings, etc. I, I thought think. they like got on CRPG or something and uh, they owned all the samurai outfits. I thought that was going to be like the most awesomest thing ever, but well, that's cool too. They were just teams. Yeah. Teams with kind of... Things. I don't know what, what makes them samurais. I don't think they're sort of Japanese or anything. I think they just like the idea of the samurai yeah, thing. Samurais are always cool. Vikings. I think the Vikings of Niflheim are not um, particularly Scandinavian or oriented fan either. So. No real association there, other than perhaps their love for the lore, the folklore. I was just checking the stream right now, see what good comments we got here. But they're saying that uh, my audio is low. Your audio is low. I don't. I don't think I can turn my mic up any higher. Is it really low or a bit low? It is something I saw in there. I saw two people mention it. Okay. That's sad, they say. Okay. You're always good to check the stream, see yeah. what people are saying. Remember, you can tweet me at Captain Lost. Don't forget that. No one ever tweets me. And it's a, a matter oh. of... It's a matter of great regret for me. People got to tweet me. I was going to tweet you, man. I'm so sorry. You got to hashtag WNL2. You got to tweet me. You got to do all the stuff. So, are we live I, right now? I, I was. Think... I was, and I was about to type Twitter into the address bar, and then I realized... Why the heck am I using Twitter? Oh wow! Well, oh, here we go. Okay, I will. I'll you. I'm yeah, you damn better. My 
my solemn word here. And I, so I believe we are live now. The teams have swapped. IG are now playing as Swadia up in the top right corner. In the bottom left, as Nors, we have Character Niki down one three to superior organization, I think that's fair to say. Um They're still rocking the same form. Oh wait, no. no? We've it's got an extra infantryman, out. yeah. Check it out. Extra infantry on behalf of the Nords. Why? I think the logic behind that, hear me out here, because archers have a higher fire rate, oh hello, whoa. Oh my, that was a jump slice, a jump slice, I'll do it again, he's always going for the double. Oh, it takes a big hit from that lance though, makes a slight misjudgment. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry we missed that, but uh, respect, oh, big respect to Siphon, that I'm sure was an awesome kill. He killed him in the hay field. I've got Siphon marked down as one of my key players to watch uh, for IG, Siphon. Wesik is took, Wesik, who's coming. not here. I think Wesik is possibly stronger on the closed maps. Maybe we'll see him come out. Maybe he's not available. Triari definitely always a big player. He's a strong, um, a strong archer. Archivist though, I didn't have him down as down as being a, a influential player this time, but he's been playing really well as infantry. Man, that is props to that jump slice. Now they're, after that, they're kind of playing it safer, I mean... Yeah, I think, well, KHR are calved down now, that's a big deal. And they're actually, you can see Volshin lost a bit of his health as well. It, that was like, he seemed to be singled out, and they had two cav on him, but he just outplayed them. Got a flag, and... we got a flag spawn now up behind the ruins. Um, I think, is that an IG player? IG is sort IG of... IG owns the ruins. Yeah, man, they're, they have sort of cav over there already, although... Okay, char character Nikki from coming. Character Nikki are not backing off towards the ruins, they're gonna fight IG en route. They they don't want to go for the flag, they want to take this fight here. I think they're in a mm. bit, they're sort of in no man's land though, they're giving IG the forest and they're in a, yeah. a sort of a vulnerable little trough right now. Uh, their archers need to distract yes. the crossbows and their infantry need to do some serious work, that's what's going to happen right now for KHR. Is I char think... Character Nikki's not trying to uh, incognito fly cap though. No, no one's over there right now. They're banking on a victory here? No, they have yeah. one horseman running out there for the cap and they're still harassing out here. I think they're in the wrong position to do this. I think Sid Brown's got a great uh, crossbow position. You can that, see him. The archer can't run behind. Oh, he has to jump oh, the fence. Rich goes to take him out. And Bendetto. Ooh, nice oh, Bendetto. That was a. That was ben a. That was Bendetto. an archer shot. He's out of uh, out of arrows now though. He oh. got to start running. Uh, does, he, you, does, you, does your stats tell him? Oh, you could just look at his quiver. Yeah, yes, yeah. He is. Oh, Siphon goes down to a hunter. Where was this? A, a, a wild, a wild, a wild horse has killed Siphon. After his epic bump slash, a wild horse takes him down. That's uh, so undignified. Well, KHR are doing some serious work on the flags. I've just, they're, they're capping them now. IG had a bit of the flags, but uh, KHR stormed in to try and uh, change, to try and sort things out. And it's now seven KHR against five IGs or four IGs even. They're capping the flag as well. So something's happened. I'm sorry we what couldn't we couldn't cover it very well. Yeah, KHR have just done some serious work. There's fighting going on going they on over here. At the trough for so long. Two two IG players left now. Ned Sat, he's gonna go down pretty soon. That's a Stavros who's oh, got uh, a left. double kill just now. Triari. Good job, character Nikki. Oh my god, he's getting chain stunned. Oh. German Archer finally falls and a very they convincing round from character Nikki, yeah. Cavalry away to do a flag cap, but way after they'd been overcommitted to that fight. Up at the hill. Judgment, I agree completely. And they, um, character Nikki were in a terrible position too, so they they turned that around. Tell me what IG need to do now then differently to win. Do you think? What do IG need to do differently? Yeah. They need to um stick with their plan. If they're gonna choose something, stick with it. If they were gonna try to take the flag, take the flag early. If they're gonna fight in the hill, have all your men there. I couldn't agree more. They're going to be decisive, so it was definitely. Lack, it was a lack of cohesion. Lack of decisiveness, I think, yeah. Right. They need some conviction about uh, what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. So perhaps, perhaps, down, perhaps down to the IG leadership, I think, I think it's Harmon that leads them generally. He's normally a very good leader, but it's a difficult situation. I think, I think KHR yeah, looks... Was the first round KHR brought out the three footmen? Yeah. I think that's the first time it's, they, that anyone's changed that, from the three cav. Yeah, I think so. I think their footmen were, were solid, definitely. Although their archers did some nice work as well. Stavros, um, kills from him. Even spread though of kills from KHL. And obviously they got the, uh, they have nature on their side, Mother Nature. A hunter got a kill on Siphon. Poor guy. It's never a proud moment to go, to go down by a horse in a match. Oh. <laughs> It's it like, feels great if you're the horseman. Oh yeah. Well, no, no. I mean, I mean, it was it was a straight horse. This was not. Does, 
This oh, was the, yeah, yeah. That's what that. If it says just hunter, like it doesn't say the name, that's a stray horse. No. Yeah, there stray, horse. No way a stray horse. Yeah, stray horse. That, that's why I was going crazy over it. I was like, this, this doesn't happen very often. It's a shame I didn't catch it on the stream. You have to be on really low health. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. I think the horse just gets to retire and go and eat grass and do whatever a horse likes to do. I've done this job. Be bloodthirsty. I'm scared of horses. You ever ride a horse, bro? Yeah, I rode a horse they're, as well. They're docile animal, animals, right? You know, like they, they're good, they're yeah, tranquil, but they're, they're so tame. Powerful. I'm oh, of them. it's true, yeah. Like, the thing was, when this horse, like, started trying to take a crap, that was when I really got scared. I had no idea what was going on. And it just stopped, and I was, like, like kicking it. And they told me not to, and I just I kind of panicked a little bit. But other than that, uh, <laughs> that was fine. Don't, but don't it, stand behind a horse. Oh no, that's that's good advice. That's how ribs are broken. But the flag spawned and no one's died. Well, Varsling has lost his horse to um. Uh, un oh my! Unrelenting okay. fire from the two K -H -R archers. That's that's really nice coordination from the archers as well. There, Stamros was a long way away from Bendetto, but he was still that looking was around and supporting. Hard. So they're clearly uh, communicating very well, speaking Ukrainian. Line of sight to shoot him. They're smart, yeah. Distance. It's good work, and it's good positioning as well. I expect that out of IG. Oh, and they are. Thing is, KHR are raising the flag now. IG, have, IG are under pressure to get on it. Sibran is fairly unharassed um, here. Borussia fan... Gr gr oh, okay, I'm not going to try to say that name. Um, oh. It's come to harass him. <laughs> Two kills for IG, so now it's got... KHR horsemen jabbed the same man. Harmon and Rich are running the show right now. With their spears. Triari is doing serious work. Two kills. Yes. These archers, they really, these horsemen are, are prioritizing very poorly here. They've got to deal oh, with these, these, these archers. Oh, they're, they're, they're gambling on the flag. But it's, a, it's a long time before the um, flag goes up, and the KHR flag is lowering right now. IG, oh, IG of. IG swung it around in the end. That was some really nice work from uh, Triari Seasing on 4 and 1 right now. I think he got 4 kills in that round. I think the KHR's flag was the one that was almost up, right? Like a good 3. It was, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, and they had ample time to go after those archers. Oh, they were just letting the archers shoot them. I agree, yeah. The whole time. Triari and uh, Sibran as well remained fairly unchallenged, but Triari was just racking up those kills. Really nice work from Harmon as well. The um, IG Cav. Um, 3 kills, I think, that round, maybe? So, um... Sterling display. Rich as well was doing some nice work for KHR. I mean, they weren't. They didn't look completely hopeless. Uh, especially uh, the archers as well looked really coordinated. But I think um, they needed to challenge those crossbows a little bit better. Yeah, they didn't do anything. They let them have their have their way with them. Well, I think this is the theory behind their their, their tactic, which I was going to explain before. Is that if they have two archers, because of the reload speed, that's enough to sort of delay three crossbowmen, and then. They can have three infantrymen up there. But that's enough crossbowmen. They, at the end, they started shooting the horses. I mean, they just had yeah. enough. Well, that's the thing. It, to bring them down. Th th you're risking if your archers die, then you can't you can't have that counter fire. Uh, okay. Oh, oh. What you can do? Now. Yeah, KHR looks like they don't want to wait for anything this time. They're just going to run straight at IG. Tree line. I think this is a mistake because Harmon has a giant horse and he's going to kill everyone. Oh wow. Harman Aki gets. Yeah. Aki with a double kill as well, looking really brutal. That takes down Shatten and Shawnee Voron. Sonic UA brings one back. KHR is starting to hit the archers though. I think it's a smart. Uh, oh, I think I, I think IG's position is too strong. If I'm honest, like they're sort of dipping IG just into. Oh, and that is not what that is not what KHR needed. That's a team kill from Rich. Arquist takes down Rich as well afterwards. So that's a bad sort of two <laughs> seconds. That's a bad two seconds for KHR. Volshin pulls one back. Bendetto doing some nice work in. Oh, Bendetto forces the team kill. Dead in the river. Not, not, not dead just yet, I would say. Archivist pulls out the two-hander. That's a very nice move, I think. Oh, he killed someone else in there. Oh. Check out Archivist with this two-hander, man. It's putting on a lot of pressure with that two-hander and um, oh, slashes him right in the face. You don't, you don't see it much for it at all, yeah. Pretty much all I use is siege because there's so many people to kill. Sometimes you gotta kill two people with one swing, and a little puny sword ain't gonna do it. <laughs> But it's good to bring that out. Yeah, I think so it's I it's very it's a shame you don't see it as much in battle as well because it's a very strong weapon. You it's because can... archers and the chance of getting hit by one. See, this is also why I like siege because you can two hand man. But the thing is though, like, it's it, it's about it's about having the weapon. You can you, if you find the right time to pull it out like that. Archivist picked the perfect time to pull it out. You know, Benetto had no chance there. Archivist was just hammering away at his shield. He broke it. And he made it so hard.
So I think uh, it does have its use in battle. Perhaps not as um, all kill, easy mode as it is in Siege, let's just say that. Just taking a look at chat, they are saying I'm low. You're still low? I, I don't, that's the, some dude said it, I'm just relaying brother. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crank you up. I'm gonna make you loud. Well, not too loud though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you deafening. I'm a loud dude. I'm gonna make you painful to listen to. No. Talk now. Hello. Just making sure we stream good. I think this should be enough. Voice is good level? Okay. Okay. We've got IG going for KHR this time. KHR sort of going for the ruins, it looks like. Uh, IG not there waiting around. They want to move in. They're catching, it looks like Bendetto sort of a, a bit um, behind, a bit unsupported. But Sean Ron's done just enough to... They, they don't want to... They're not attacking yet. They got the one horseman from behind. What's this guy's name? Varong? Sean Varong. Varong? Which, which one? Um, the horseman that is behind KHR right now and... The IG horseman? He's basically just taking all their... Yeah, the IG horseman. He's taking all their... Varsung. That'd be Varsung. Uh, German player? Yes. German warband is hot right now. You gotta take note. I think for a long um, time, for a long time, they weren't taken as seriously as perhaps some of the bigger nations is there like a big, Poland. Um, inter like country rivalry up there with Warband, or is it like? Oh, Benetto, nice place, shot on Aki. Just one place. Uh, well, you get you get rivalry when the Nations Cup goes on. There's a sort of a tournament which is you have like national teams that are playing, like a World Cup oh, type thing. Wow, they will get that flag up in seconds if they pile dog pile everyone on there. I think IG had. I think they will, but I think IG have a nice surround on it. I think they're going to get there, and I think KHR need a better spread if they're going to defend this flag from IG. Oh, dude, this is going to get good. Problem is, Varsang has is Varsang has wrong. very low health, and um, IG have already lost Aki to Bendetto, so their cav strength is pretty limited. They have to deal with that mm. first. You can see, like already, the IG players are being harassed by that cav, while um, the KHR infantry are already raising the flag. Neto goes uh, down to a couch dance from uh, Grits. That is the exact purpose of the cab, to keep uh. them away, and they're they're being kept away. They lost a dude. Are Chris and Chirari doing some work? They're getting to the flag, but I mean, look, they're still going to be under lots of pressure from Bendetto and Stavros. I think this is KHR's round, sorry. to be honest. Volshin gets another kill. That was a throw one, I think. Varsung goes, Barsung gets one kill back, kill. but I think this is... Oh, paid for it. I think it's cut. I think it's curtains for um, IG, to be honest. They can't do anything about these archers right now. Uh, Chirari goes down, and... Just two IG players remaining against the seven of KHR. Sibran's a long way away. He's got nice armor, but that's not going to be enough for him. The Character flag, Nikki. the flag goes up, three and they've won the round. Footmen. So um, their three footman strategy is really turning them around. Yeah, I think it's a smart move as well. So, you know, play the strength of your faction. Always a good idea. Flash right. We're on a break. The map is going to change. Oh, uh, so what is the score now? The score right now is five three to IG overall. Awesome, we get to see quite a few maps. In the yeah, game. so it's, it's a nice... A few it's, rounds in the next map. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't see as much of it in the previous game that we casted. Very casted. excited to see this next map. Because yeah. they've, they've done some good brawls. I want to see you get more there. Oh yeah, it was a real... Get it was to a, that point. Speed. It was a real melee slug on the other map. Um, great fun. But I think the next map, uh, by the way, is Fort of Honor. Uh, I should give a shout out to Mr. Sphere, who made the map. I didn't shout out last time. Uh, all respect Thank to him. You, Mr. Sphere. Yeah, it's a cool map. We liked they it. Are the, the map makers of Warband are the un... Credited unsung heroes of Warband. <laughs> well, certainly. The map can make it make or break a game, really. I agree. Certainly in Siege as well. And this yeah. one's really good. This map's dope. Seeing it pretty soon. Fort of Honor. We love it. Enjoyed it. I even like the stream that ends in the rock. I don't know. Everything about it's kind of good. Um, should we bring up the stream again so people can see the map? We did that last time. I think it worked quite well. Yeah, float it around, because see the architecture. Yeah. Because people people are probably not as familiar with this map as they are with, or certainly not with Field by the River. I hope IG bring out more footmen. I hope they all bring out footmen. I think all it's, of them. Every I, single one. I think they get. I think you'll see. I think you'll see enough, a satisfactory amount of footmen on this map. I wouldn't worry about that. There will be a lot. Is it starting or are they? Um, no, it's not started. Yet, I'm pretty sure. It's okay. But I will bring up the stream just as one second's time. Let's see. Lot of honor. I will take this moment to get a bit of water. Be right back. Go for it. While um, my friend E-Man is getting himself a nice drink of water, you can see Fort of Honor. It's all four inside the castle. You can get up onto some of the walls if you see ladders. I think it's just up by this gatehouse over here. There's a river which runs through the middle. Um, 
which is, I don't know what it does to the gameplay, we've got fences here, so it's quite hard to pass over, you have to go through the bridges or you've got to jump, and nobody likes jumping, it's very difficult. At the same time, you have this river emerging from a, a rock, which mapmakers tend to favour. They don't want to just have a river ending nowhere, so they put a rock there, because rocks naturally leak water. Maybe that, I mean, they think it's like a, like a spring, it's like what a spring looks like, a rock. I don't think so. Back soon. Around the map a little bit more. It's nicely designed. It's sort of medieval themed. There's not there's not many medievally themed sort of closed maps at the moment, so it's nice to have a bit of variation. This one kind of is naughty style. Back. This one stands alone, stands apart. Yeah, we have well it's the medieval kind of theme for the closed map, which is um Less common. You got North Town and Porto Sal. What's up? The obstructions, because obstructions block archers, which leads to more engaging sword fights. Good job, man. I'm very critical of maps. Put this on siege. Let's on siege. This. Yeah, go for it. Put it on there. Is it starting? I'm sure Deathblind Day is on it already. Oh, no, it is not. We'll be making a thread. Uh, we've got. I like I like most of Deathblind Day's maps, but he has he has some crummy ones in the mix. Not everyone's portfolio is full of winners, you know. <laughs> Like, but <laughs> it's a fair critique. I'm sure he'd probably be the first to admit that he's not oh, the perfect. More, more whimsical maps, people. Come on. Whimsical. There's, there's got to be more whimsical ones. Well, this is esports right now. There's no time for whimsy. Ah. Uh... Let me point out to the to the stream this area right here. I, I gotta say this is not live as well. I'm sorry. I've got not got the splash grab. It's just to show you the map for anyone who's just joining. This is not live at the moment. The score is five three overall. That's correct. But uh, the one zero you can ignore. It's not live. I'm just showing you the map. This area right here is where the teams. <laughs> To the fight rock out. looks like dog shit. Someone said that on stream. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't unsee it anymore. They mean like an actual, like I an mean, actual. Just look at the rock. I mean, just uh, yeah. use your imagination. I look think... at that thing. That looks like a pile of doggy dude. Well, it, it could, does. it could be intentional. <laughs> you know, who knows? Thank you for that comment, dude. Back with the the, the stream live. In just a second. The game is now live. Okay. <clears throat> I'll bring the stream up just now. Vagar is our character, Nikki. And Rodox, IG. Yeah. IG are green. Let's check out the class setups. We have. Oh, oh my god! Yes! Infantry. We have like a million footmen. Well, this is closed maps for you. We've got four infantry on the IG's team, five on KHR. So five. Five is serious business. Hey. You don't mess with five infantry. Ever since they've had one more footman over IG. So I think. Wow. That they have the same the same thing set up here. One more footman. I think IG's reasoning, but I think IG's reasoning is that on closed maps you got more places for crossbows to duck in, duck out, that sort of business. Uh, for that reason, they take an extra crossbowman. Both have gone for one cab. I think that's fairly standard. Possibly on this map, you have fairly wide streets, so it could be useful. With the setup character Nikki have, we have, oh, we oh, have a, fighting atop the house. We have a different sort of strategy going on right now. Uh, KHR are taking this kind of high area. You can pass through here as well. Ooh, I did not see this area yet. Oh, they are Look at this. In tight yeah, you can only really do overheads in that area. That is smart of them to fight in the upper ground because that way the archers can't hit them as good. Yeah, IG as well got some crossbows. Nice, got Trari up in a nice position over here. He's under a bit of fire from KHR uh, archers. Don't fall but... back, guys. You guys have a more offensive lineup because you got to get at them archers. KHR backing off now. They're not confident they are in their position. Up into an exposed area. Or yeah, them. you can see some of them. Oh, the cab comes. Uh, oh, doesn't quite get any kills, but um. Why they are they not pushing? Look at look at Siphon behind. He's just crept up behind KHR right now. He's gonna get one free hit. Oh my God! Vendet Vend right Vendetta's right seen him and oh, he just ran into Grits right now. I think IG oh, gonna. He's got him. He's got him. <laughs> Grits versus Siphon. It's an intense battle. Sean Everin is coming in to help out KHR. Archivist, the first casualty goes down to Vendetta. I think. Cavalry's even in the thick of it. I think Chiraria is a bit too far away, sitting over on that um. That stairway over there. Okay, another kill for KHR. KHR doing some serious work right now. Nedsat helps out, gets pulls a kill back for IG, and three for IG now. But um, overall, I think KHR is still winning. still fighting. My God, who knows what's happening downstairs? These two don't. I think it's five on. Care, they want each other's blood. They're still fighting. It's five. It's five three in favor of uh, IG right now. Stavros comes in to help out um, Grits, and Siphon does go down. So nice teamwork there. Nice communication. I think KHR have got this round, so it's five on two at the moment. 
they did great. They did walk into IG's trap, but then they reacted well. They sent a dude up there. Yeah, they fought they the way out. the archer. And then that, that mess was far too huddled for uh, IG to use their archer advantage. Yeah, I think personally, like, sort of Triari and perhaps some of the other IG players are sitting a bit too far away from the action as well to so do some really, do some real damage. Oh, and... no, but they're turning it. It's not over yet. No. Well, it was a nice, yeah, nice kill. There's just one left for... Um... IG now it's Tommy Boy against four KHR players. These and archers are surgical. I noticed this. Like, yeah, this I think most of the kills come from them, and the meleeers are just assisting at uh, letting down the their guard, at letting down the enemy's guard. Vendetta was a very strong archer, and uh, I gotta say, last week against one Wookie, based Whoa, on the exactly. based on the scoreboards, he was um, looking particularly strong on closed maps. So, and this is a closed map, and he's playing archer again. This is why this map's good, people. That was a wonderful fight. That was a great round. We loved it. Great round, everyone. Congratulations Except to both the teams. Cav, I, don't, I don't know what the Cav did that was too good. Character Ninky, I think. Well, no, I don't know. KHR had that sort of bait thing when their Cav came in behind. That was pretty cool. We didn't do much damage, but it was it was fun. The IG Cav went but down pretty I fast. I don't understand why the front didn't collapse, because there were only three uh, footmen. It had been swarmed. Yeah. Why didn't you just... Well, it worked out for them. I think the Cav is sort of good for distraction. It sort of keeps... Your opponent thinking. If you if you know your opponent doesn't guessing. if you know your opponent doesn't have a cav, you can just focus on, you know, the footmen and the archers and things. If they've got a cav, you've got to keep thinking about that. It's, you know, every every sort of distraction, every little fact like that, it always helps out. IG pretty spread out. Um, Benbeto getting harassed. HR sort of sitting like around the sort of ends of the rows of houses. Just gonna so hang what, back for now. Of score now. KHR yeah. brought it back, right? It's no, it's still 5 4 to IG. 5 4. Still, they're bringing it back. Yeah, I think they can. This is great. I think they could definitely do it. And they're looking stronger than IG on this closed map so far. Especially Bendetta with those four kills last round. Four kills in one round is. It's so so much, really. It's, you killed half the, the opponents. You know, the other team. I do worry for KHR, though, because I still think IG is better at uh, seizing opportunities. Uh, you could be right about that. HR, maybe they sweat. Maybe they practice this map a little bit more. You never know. Maybe, maybe they maybe, maybe so just KHR's better fighters. I yeah. don't know. We'll see. I think interesting to see as well. Both teams sticking with the same class setup. I think if I was IG, I would have dropped one of the crosswomen. I don't think they were doing much. But um, um kept they kept the three so far. This the way they're fighting this round favors the archer setup because they're not. The last round, they started early, and they fall around from the beginning to end. But here, they're just kind of sitting out for the flag. Flag's going to spawn any second. Now. In fact, it has spawned in the same position as last time. Right back, uh, KHR already on it. Sean, everyone's raising the flag. IGR pressing oh, forward. this is a problem. Well, KHR are going to turtle that. They're going to turtle the hell out of that. Yes, they are. IG need to get some they serious... That cemetery. Oh, they're going to put new bodies in there. Yeah, there's, they are just going to... They a lot of people, though. They were raising that flag. They are going to turtle the and turtle and turtle. The has does not favor this, because they, if they don't get a quick kill by sniping someone early, when they have to rush, they don't have as much frontliners. But you can see them jumping over the wall now. Netsat, Netsat's gone oh, over, but he's already taken a hit. Yeah, you see, the thing is, Netsat's getting over, overwhelmed right now. He's going to go down really fast. And the KHR Benito is sitting in the back there unchallenged. No, Netsat's doing fine. He is getting their attention. <laughs> The well, Grits takes down Razengang Gang now. Harmon gets goes down to an archer wake. now. No, they're jumping back over the wall to get at the archers. <laughs> Lots of wall jumping going down now, but well, I think KHR are getting the majority of the kills right now. It's all going in their favor. Um, Harmon pulls one back. Harmon was the only player to get kills there, I think, for that round. He got two for IG. Wow, look at that. And you see, the problem, the problem right now is. The problem right now is that uh, KHR are going to get tankier and tankier and tankier. They're going to get more stacked and stacked and stacked. And it's going to be sort of uh, harder and harder money, to deal with them. The money advantage on this map is, hits real hard. Uh, yeah, look at look at this Lamella armor they've got to deal with. And the thing is, these elite scimitars against sort of Rodokon, which is basically paper. Uh, <laughs> like, it, it's, a, it's, a, paper. it's pretty much paper. And like, the elite scimitars just kill it. They just absolutely this, brutalize this, it. This is an exciting match here. They have, they've tied it now, right? They're tied against 5 5. IG is going. They're going IG not messing around yet? Yeah. Or oh, they're just baiting. They're, they're just goading. baiting. They are goading. They're just fishing. They're just throwing it out there. Casting a line. From both sides. These guys are trying to troll. They're just poking and poking. They, I think they want to do something, but maybe they sort of they don't want to. You know, they're just sizing it up. 
No, actually, I think what they're doing is trying to lure him out more in the early game to get more archer pot shots because I... they realize that they didn't get anything. I gotta say, if I was IG right now, I would I would drop all my crossbowmen and go for an all-out infantry attack in a big group. I think that's their Ooh, best tactic. Bendetto. Oh, see, I don't this... think that's too bad though. Oh, but is that their cav gone down? It. Yes, IG's cab is Siphon dead. gets off a hit on uh, Grittus, but Siphon is now pretty um, caught out in the open here. Goes down to Benetto. UA getting rushed by 3 IG in the center. Oh! They're yeah, I think, I think this is a bad move for IG though, because they've lost the fight elsewhere, and KHR are going to have their friends coming in pretty soon to help them out. Razangan goes down and to Volshin. Sonic QA takes down Nedsat. Volshin takes down Harmon as well. Double kill for Volshin. Archivist pulls one back against Shatton, but uh, Archivist is not long for this world. Archer still alive, not but, paying off. Not exactly, paying yeah, off they're too far. They're too far back. back. Tommy Boy and Shari, and this is. They tried to make it work better, though. They tried. Look at Bendetto. He's on eight. Think. Bendetto's on eight and zero. Oh. That's eight kills in uh, just three ah. rounds. They'll probably get the last one as well. Ah, nope. Man, they are Goes using to Sonic. This map to the fullest. All they got to do is fight in the cabbage patch, and then I'll be satisfied. This map would be totally used. <laughs> <laughs> they fought in the cemetery, they That's... fought on the bridge. Well, maybe next they round. On the Let's see. Right now, we'll be cutting to a short break because. Um... A oh. break? Oh, it's 50 sides? What's the score? Oh, no, we're not, not a break. No, my bad. Okay. Not a break. That's going. my mistake, yeah. Oh, my goodness. They're challenging him right up the center. I what apologize. Hey, Charlie, looks like they want to move for a bit further forward, but uh, IG are holding further back for now. Sorry about that mistake, by the way, guys. Score is uh, 6 5 to character 23 at the moment. Character Niki have come back. They haven't played a bad game though, so. Oh, it could it could be a faction sort of advantage. I mean, personally, I would think Rodox are stronger on this map because Rodox have the brutal infantry. But with this sort of gold snowball effect, Character Niki are just looking unstoppable right now. I think they take a lot more hits now. Even with those brutal, awesome military cleavers that the Rodox have, and I love those weapons. That's my favorite weapon. I think against does the Melorama. Does armor mitigate a lot of the arrow damage too, or? Uh, like... less for the arrow damage. It's mainly armor sort of will stop cutting damage. Oh. But well, it, yeah, shame. it's still it's, no, it's still it's still you take less damage with arm with armor oh, from all, I all think, types. I think the IG horseman does not have a position to engage here. Or well, he's gonna jump him. It's he's too. Gonna jump him. <laughs> oh. I think this is a bad move. Yeah, it's too narrow for a, a horseman. Benetto oh, with another Benetto. kill. Yeah. Oh. Benetto's all over Ignis Chronos. <laughs> Benetto goes down to a headshot for the first time. First death on this map. Finally. Shatton, and it's back and forth, but IG are doing better this round. Double kill for Harmon. Harmon is sort of the, the saving grace, the one hope for IG at the moment. He's fighting his heart out. He's not, he's not gone down yet. And I think IG are looking better in this round. Nedsat and Harmon uh, wow, are doing real work. This around. The archers are coming back. Harmon, oh, it does go down in the end, but Nedsat's in to try and save him. Nedsat goes down as well. It's a team kill by Rich. It's really close right now. It's three on three. Anything could happen in this round. IG are more spread out. The archers are also capable. IG, IG have got a player in the back. Yeah, they are. Tommy Boy's in the back. Nice kill from Tommy Boy. Takes down Stavros. Three, three on two for IG. Volshin gets a kill back on Jari. This is a really intense oh, round now. The problem is IG is split up. KHR are going to split up and fight them individually because they're, they're archers. Duel. It's duel time. Okay, I'm going to follow the other fight because I think they're fighting right now. Two men fighting in the head. It's Rich on Tommy Boy. They both have full health. Rich is an infantryman, so he's got an advantage, but Tommy Boy could, could win this. Gets a nice hit off on Rich. First of all, takes on half his health. Volshin still chasing the last IG. Remember the flag spawns over there as well? Yes, got, there's plenty of time for that. Flag. I'm, watching flag fight. I'm, I'm following Rich versus Tommy Boy right now. I think this could decide if it happens fast. Siphon is more injured, but they are still fighting, just wailing away at each other's shields. <gasps> Rich Character, Rich your shields broke. I'm, I'm going over there. I'm, I'm switching. I'm, I'm backing off. I think they are fighting. They are bleeding so hard. They will die of blood loss before this <laughs> fight ends. Both of them. Siphon tries to pull out the crossbow. Oh! It's a brutal kill! He does the 180 and takes down the shot. That's a really... That is such a nice play from Siphon, using all the mechanics of the game to his advantage. Crap. This is eSports right now. And meanwhile, he's calling his buddy over. Hey, bring your fight here. Siphon, Siphon, oh, Siphon, Siphon's reared. Oh, he's got the headshot on Rich! Siphon is the man of the hour. And, and Cabbage Patch action. That is beautiful from Siphon. Siphon is, uh... Well, his team owned that round, I think, definitely. That was beautiful. That was fantastic. I love. I love it when 
people will sort of will consider that cheap, I think, a lot of the time to sort of pull out your crossbow in a melee fight, but at the same time... You know what, hey, I would hate that. If you did that to me in Siege, I'd be but so But that's why it's so, that's why it's so beautiful. That's, that's eSports for you. That's what it is. It's using every part of the game to its fullest. That's the beautiful aspect of it. That's but why I love missed, it. But though, that is the gamble you take with that. Yeah, but that's, so this is if Siphon. If he missed, he would have got sliced. But, but, but did he miss it? That's the thing. No, he didn't. He got it. Well played, Siphon. Really nice work. And the best part though while he was fighting that i mean that was a great fight the guy he was fighting had the health advantage and they fought until they broke each other's shields and then that happened but while that was all going on ig called his bro over and said hey i won or i'm, I'm winning bring your fight this way so we can gangbang him <laughs> i mean so, sorry <laughs> but yeah well, well yeah definitely i think it was i think it was really excellent and nicely played i think khr i think it's a break yeah, it's a break right now. I think KHR, KHR made the right decision by splitting up their players because they had two infantry, IG had two they archers. So, in theory, in theory, KHR should have won that because KHR had the infantry against the archers and infantry have better stats. Did not do anything that round, sadly. No, I think Ignatius Cronus, uh, he, Bendetto put him. in a bad position. Thing is, Bendet Bendetto had his number the whole time. Bendetto just took him down. I think almost every round. It was, uh, it was brutal to watch. Ignatius Cronus just couldn't really do anything. Um. Anyway, let, let's just give a quick shout out to um, our Deciding respective round. channels just before the, the final set. Uh, the score is currently 6 6, so it's neck and neck at the moment. Um, I'm Captain Lust, um, Community and Public Relations Manager at Tales Entertainment. You can get my Twitter at Captain Lust, is at the bottom of the screen right now. I'm joined by E Man. E Man does hey. cool gaming bros. You can see his yes, YouTube on the screen right now. He does Warband content, he does other game content. It's funny. Him Bye. and Jeremy do stupid things. Tell us about it. Yep, me and my buddy Jeremy, we've been friends for a while, and we just play on Warband, and we have, we play on Siege mode on USGK Siege and the NA, NA servers, and um, I make videos of just funny things that happen, strange <laughs> things happen when you play Warband late at night. Yeah, that's true. You get role players, <laughs> you get weird folk, you get epic adventures, you get betrayals, all sorts of like drama happens, and we just make, you know, collect the funniest bits. Add a little bit of machinima segments, and you get a little funny video. So if you like my commentary, check out the channel. Definitely check it out. It's very highly recommended. Let me explain to people just joining the stream. This is the Warband Native League. This is the biggest European league going on right now in Warband in Europe. Uh, it's got 38 teams. This is the second week. God of Asinia versus Character Niki. Both teams are on three points. They both won their first matches. Right now it's neck and neck. Six versus six. They've just swapped. It's going to be the final leg. Character Nikki playing as Rodox, God of Asinia playing as Vegas. This is on a brand new map, Force of Honor. Get hyped. Tweet about it. Tweet me. Hashtag Fort WNL2. Get your friends to come and watch. Fort of Honor is the, the name of the map. Oh, yeah, this map. It's a fort, and it's, it's definitely Honor. Oh, there's some Honorable. horrible fights happening here. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, those duels? Oh, those well. Those duels. That was well, the, I mean, one well, turned into a 2v1. But yeah, and, and, <laughs> and someone did whip out a crossbow in the middle of a duel. There's not really much Honor involved in that. But, um... We'll call it a four bar in any case. Is, <laughs> is this was that like nothing is that Assassin's Creed? Is that the Assassin's Creed slogan? <laughs> there we go. I really struggled to get that reference, but I got there in the end, so. Those games kinda turn into the same game after a while though. Well, you know. We're we're still quite warband, let's Well, you know, I think I think less of Assassin's Creed and more of um Ogami Ito, you ever you ever watch the Lone Wolf and Cub movies or read the the, the comic book? It's going way over my head, man. Comic, oh, we, we don't really do comic books very much in England, I gotta say. No. no. Anyway, let's Those let's universal. let's get okay. some focus. What's going on in this match right now? Character Niki are hanging back. They're I think they're tense. They're very nervous. It's six versus six. They were doing so well, but IG shook them up with that last win. Siphon superb performance. Six versus six. This could draw, right? Four rounds left. Oh, I could draw. And, um, and don't 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 feel bad if it's a draw. There's nothing better than a thrilling draw in my eyes. We love a thrilling draw. Rodox had the advantage, and now character Nikki have become the Rodox. Yeah, I think yeah. So, I, I still think so. And character and character Nikki sticking with the five infantry setup as well. I just switched to five infantry for Vegas. A strong showing, and they papered off. They did get that last round though. It was really it was really nice. Oh, I think oh, that's a big boost for them so as well. Yeah, five infantry. They've gone for it. Five infantry. Just Siphon and Chari, and Siphon, Siphon was playing really well as an archer in any, in any case. So, and Chari, so was Chari, so I think it could be it could be sensible that they've kept them as uh, rangers. Oh, they're coming. They're encroaching on the cabbage patch. Just a reminder as well, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to follow the channel. I think you can do it. It's on the bottom or top of the video, somewhere like that. It's a big purple button. You can press follow and find out when I'm, when I'm streaming. 
Okay, we've got some engagement going on right now. Over on this left-hand side, Siphon is shooting at uh, Rodolfo are fleeing towards... Like Where is the flag spawn? Over near flag by the Cabbage Patch. Cabbage Patch. Character Nikki own the flag. They own the flag, but IG are moving in in numbers. They have oh, yeah. lots of infantrymen. And I think uh, I think there'll be a fight before the round's up. I don't think it'll be a flag win at all. This sneaky little passage I really like as well. You can sort of swap players that from either side. Is awesome. It's oh, a really yeah. nice feature of the map, but there's not many maps which have that kind of... Um, sort Character of Nikki is fighting these uh, aspect. IG Archer. Are keeping his attention focused while the rest of... Hey, Char... KHR crossbowmen have nice positions up on this sort of back wall, but I think they're getting surrounded slowly. Uh, Sonic does a nice job, oh, takes down Harmon. Character Nikki's got split up. I think IG is sort of slowly Man, grinding it into the water flag. The patch. But they've got it. Ruining a... all the work they put in there. <laughs> Squashing the watermelons, they don't care. <laughs> they want to humiliate these guys. They've got to get on the flag right now, because uh, otherwise, otherwise KHR are going to win the round. IG to get on the flag right now. Razzle Gang is... Oh, oh he's oh, just got there in time. He's just got there in time. IG getting the kills. They just, just done it, yeah. That was really close. IG uh, dominating the fight right now. Siphon's got up on that nice wall position, and it's just Volshin and Shawnee Voron on left. Yeah. And they did it just in time as well. Siphon takes down Shawnee Voron. I tell you what, they didn't half leave it close, though. I mean, KHR was so close to winning that round. So close. They squashed. They conquered. Wow. It's a quote to be remembered for the ages. Damn. Or watermelons. I think it's a strange climate where you can grow watermelons and cabbages next to each other, don't you think? No, it's a sign. Oh, well, this is medieval times. They don't have genetic engineering where we can grow anything at any point. <laughs> heck yeah, science. 7-6-O-M-G. <laughs> yeah, OMG indeed. IG this right is intense. Back. IG are winning again after sort of, after Character Nikki grounded back, they got ahead. And now IG have won the past two rounds. They're back in the lead, seven against six. But KHR are not done yet. KHR are not done yet. Are yeah, there you go. Archers more are cowards. Footmen. You will win with more footmen. That is a fact. Maybe. Always use more footmen. You will win. Everyone you knows this. Every single one. Every single one. Good advice from E-Man. Or you'll you'll have more honor doing it. Well, this and is this team. is this is the fort of honor. So, honor is pretty important. Just while these teams are just sizing each other up for the moment, I think they might have another flag spawn here. It's tense right now. It's very intense. Line. No, no Rich. team, no team wants to kind of gun it and uh, go for an aggression. Of death, Rich is staring down three IG people. I would like to remind people to comment on the thread on Tail Worlds. Tell me what you think of the stream. I really would appreciate it. Who got the money last round? IG is looking pretty. Yeah, IG got a few. Um, IG is pulling back. I think there's sort of a, a sort of half almost engagement going on in this middle street. Sonic just backing off for the time being though. I think we'll No, oh, they're cha they're saying choice words to each other down there. <laughs> we don't have like we, we don't have player mics, but you know, perhaps it's a feature we could incorporate later on with some proximity voice, bit of smack talk. That I would really like that as a feature actually, sort of uh being able what to shout at your opponent. Being able to shout at your opponent in sort of oh, you proximity can do voice. That's the that's one of the best things about that. Story. No 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 I mean I mean like actually with your own voice instead of like uh oh you can save it as a sound clip and put it in the game. <laughs> yeah no or, or like it just it picks up you from get, your mic yeah. You anyway. get the worst profanity ever. Yeah exactly. Anyway same flag position. KHR are gonna do something different. I think they they allow themselves to get sur too surrounded last time. They, they have got themselves. A to get surrounded and then separated. Definitely, yeah. I think IG are going to do the same thing as well. They're sort of slowly Bend grinding oh, their way onto the flag. Bend they want to shut him down. I think that's they're the wrong... The well, Arquist is going towards him. Cabbage fight going on. Siphon takes down Shawnee Veron. That's a good start for IG. And once again, I think... Um, KHR don't have a mu as much of a Rich. high flag this time. Sonic pulls back a, flag, a kill against Archivist. Bendetto now fairly Bendetto unchallenged. He is, yeah. Exactly. Stavros uh, gets a kill as well. So the uh, KHR uh, crossbowmen making their worth sh known right now. Bendetto, oh, he's hitting. He's landing them hits. KHR still with the flag higher. Foam's in a bit of no man's land here. I think he needs to get some teammates fast or he's going to go down. Doing nice work keeping that flag from going up. Rich takes down Chiari, and I think KHR might take this round. KHR collapsing on flags. Bit by bit, KHR are fighting. No, no, KHR have got it. Look at this. IG are collapsing. They tried to assassinate Vendetto, and he's still alive, and he's still shooting, and he's still hitting. KHR are all over this. Character Niki. Get him. Get him, Vendetto. Steal that kill. Just Harmon left, and KHR got the flag up. This oh, is a... with the shot jump. Come on. <laughs> 
This is this is KHR's round. Armor's doing what he can, but he's gonna die. There you go. Rich. Great work from Rich there. 7-7. Seven, 7-7. Seven. Seven, seven. Seven, seven. Love being able to show great games like this. Don't forget to follow the channel if you want to hear more, see more great games. Important business. These Borussia. two teams got their hearts in this. Got Varsang and Spectator commenting on the match. He wants to be in there. He wants, he wants to be in there helping out, fighting for his team, but he has been subbed. Some changes for IG. Oh, IG switched out some players? Yeah, we got, I think Razzing Gang wasn't in at the start. I don't think English Recruiters was there as well. Well, no, they, no not, they're not just now. I think they did it sort of before the last leg. Oh, what's happened here? Where did that come from? What? What How did this happen? That where? Like, we saw it. Where, where was it? This, this round went a foul. Something's wrong How? here. But Neto's just... I was what? watching that. Oh, was it from over here? It was from this... I don't know where he got hit. It, it, was, from, know. it was from around this sort of gateway. Round, like, by the side. That is a killer shot. He got this angle. He just managed to sneak through this gateway over towards that wall. That is an absolute killer. That Wait, could be... did Vendetto get that? Yeah, that could be such a crucial kill oh, for, for oh, KHR. That, that is such a nice snipe. Fantastic play from Vendetto. Ben this guy, Vendetto. this guy knows how to play ranged on closed maps. This guy, seriously, uh, is one to watch out for, yeah. Ranged on closed maps, you want to you want to speak to Vendetto. respectable if you learn how to use a sword, but, you know, the shots are cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I think my distaste for archers runs so deep. I don't think you can deny any sort of respect to that shot. That was that, that, that was stunning. Was I'm glad we saw it on the stream as well. I mean, you could probably oh, see Benetto in the in the corner. Uh, IG so, making IG making good use of this little alleyway. They seem to love it. They love the little alleyway. <laughs> Fair play. They are down a man. If that flag spawns where KHR are, there is um. Fresh little they, they can do. And wh whoever wins this, if someone wins this round now, they can't lose because it's it's best of sixteen. So if they get to eight. Oh, so this victory, this round right here determines draw. Yeah. Or like they're secured. You can Yeah, you can get at least a draw, yeah. Flag over in the other position. IG are closer to it, but if they're gonna retreat towards it, oh, KHR, to the way to the KHR are gonna overwhelm them on the way. IG needs to be very organized here because KHR KHR are running forwards, IG are running backwards, and this is not good for IG right now. Arquist is being caught out here. Siphon is being caught out here. Um Harman gets a kill though on, on grits. And English Chakras gets another kill as well. Really nice work, I, work from IG. English Chakras moving in. Another kill for English Chakras. Great work. Double kill for English Chakras right now. Siphon is doing as, as much work as he can in this corner. Arquist comes up to help him out. This is a very intense round. Harman gets a kill elsewhere. Sonic against... Well, we've got an intense 2v2 in this corner right now. Hits are going down all the way. Nice kick. Kick slash from Siphon. Killer. But at the same time, he does go down. Shatton goes down as well. Rich doing great work for KHR, fighting for his team. Triari gets a team kill. Oh, it's a terrible team kill to get, but he pulls it back and kills Rich uh, in the end. So a team kill, it matters not. Yeah. So well done, well done, Triari. Um, IG do take that round, and that means they can't lose right now. KHR are fighting for the draw in this that round. Was, that was good. This match well, is, goes back to how it started. KHR this match is super, years. super intense. Super intense. But Guys, if you're, if you're, they had the advantage and they tried to capitalize, but they did not. They did IG, not fight. IG was so nice. I think big shout out to English Draconis. That was really great play from him as the that like double kills cap. I think that that fueled his team forward uh, to win that round. So All excellent right. play. Well, there is no hope for victory for KHR, but, but there is hope for a draw. They can hope to stall it out. And that is important in the league. You can get a, you get a point for a draw, which is definitely worth it. If this is your first time watching competitive Mountain Blade Warband. Make sure it's not your last time. Get on the forums. Get on the forums. Check out what tournaments Already are going on. Death Hallway. Death Hallway. Or Death Alley. <laughs> yeah, Sonic. Ah, they're, just, they're just sizing each other up. But check out the forums. Follow the channel. Follow me on Twitter at Captain Lust. I will tell you about what's going on in competitive mountain by Warband. Check it out. Stay with the scene. Follow it. They are poking. I think. Yeah, they're taking a bit more caution to not get headshot right at the beginning. I think that's sensible. I bet it was so beautiful well, from Benetto I mean, last round. So it's unfortunate that uh, unfortunate that KR like, KHR can win. You can do. <laughs> yeah. Bro, oh, is there a fight going on in the corner? Oh, hello, there is. Yeah, I'm getting over to it as soon as I can. Oh, just, it's, uh, well, no side. one's no one's taking any damage yet. You can see that on the side. Looking at the player panels. There's two fights, two concurrent fights. Here we go. Sean Ivron charges right in obnoxiously. Uh, boldly into the fight. Shatting it. Oh, a team kill right at this moment is not what you team need. Kill. That is 
No way, but Sonic gets a kill um, back. Same KHR. It's even Rich gets another kill as well. Rich has been absolutely outstanding for KHR in this leg of the uh, match. Surely Ron Dunga is doing what he can as well. IG players have been caught out. Left, right, Archivist has been caught out. Harm has been caught out. And KHR are seven on four right now. I think IG. IG I think IG have lot. I think IG have thrown it away. Triari uh, looking pretty vulnerable. He's running away past the cabbages. <laughs> Running away from the flag he needs to capture. Yeah, definitely. He can't no, he, well, he can't he can't stay there for long. IG have got a group of three coming up this middle valley way. They they need a miracle right now to get this win. KHR it's their draw to lose, or their or whatever. <laughs> However you would oh, phrase man. it in this in this situation. Bendetto They're do, fighting in death hallway, yes. IG well I think it, IG IG just stay together. They're doing the best job the best job they can is to try and sort of stick together. Bendetto they take him down quickly and then deal with the rest of the players. Right now it's four against um Seven for uh, IG. No, no, Bendetto, he can only do so much. Bendetto, is, he stayed alive oh, though. Oh, and Rich smacks down Razengang and smacks down IG's hopes of winning this match. Foms has got no health. Triari's going to go down soon. Neta takes down Bendetto, but Foms goes down. It's just Triari and Neta against five KHR players. They cannot do this. It will not happen, I guarantee it. Down they go. KHR, God of Estinia, draw. 8-8, eight, eight, final score. 8-8. Eight, eight. GG, gentlemen. Wow. Well, congratulations to, to both teams, I suppose. Both teams, I think that was... I think both. I think a draw was a fair oh, result. Oh, they leave in unison! They <laughs> That's how IG roll. IG leave in unison. IG came, they joined, <laughs> they did their part. They came, they, they drew, they, they left. <laughs> well, we, no, they, they said some GGs. I think, I think GG is... Never, never, was it, never has it been used Sunday more appropriately. Message, that was killer. Um, Really well played to KHR on that second map to pull that back to a draw. I think uh, they can be very proud of themselves. I think IG as well. Their organization looked great. Uh, but some great sort of individual performances. I think Rich was absolutely killer for KHR. Uh, sort of all match. He was outstanding. Bendetto was sick as well. Sick, sick, sick. Wow. I'm, 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 I'm sweating after that match. I'm sweating. This is the Warband Native League Week 2. You can check out uh, all the scores, all the information on the Tailwords forums. Go and do that. And I think that's the first draw of the tournament as well, so I'm glad, glad we were able to bring it to you on the stream. An exciting match like that. Um, who was your man of the match then, overall? Who, who was it? Tell me that. Uh, I had a hard on for Bendetto, man. Bendetto was sick, man. Like and that, that shot as well was awesome. I didn't, I'm sorry to say I did not see Rich's accomplishments too much. They were all huddled in a corner, but he was slicing and dicing. <laughs> He was bringing the smackdown, man. That's what Rich is doing. He was just cutting people's heads off with that cleaver. Wow. Intense match. Follow the channel. Follow MBTV. The streams will be so announced. Lucas, which of these teams... I hope they pick each other again. <laughs> well, they can't pick each other next week, but I'm sure they'll face each other again. If, they're oh. both, if they both play as well as that, then they'll, they'll be sort of bashing heads with each other at the top of the league for a long time. You can check out E-Man's channel, Cool Gaming Bros, for Warband content. It's very funny. It's exciting. I've watched it. I laughed. It was great. You can follow me at Captain Lust. Follow me at Captain Lust. I'll tell you about every stream that we're doing on this channel. You can see more great, great warband games like this. They go on all the time. Not everyone knows about them. Tell your friends about them. Tell your family about them. Tell your enemies about them. Tell everyone about warband, competitive warband. E-Man, did you enjoy the match? Did you love it? Tell them to watch because they get to see shit like that. Okay? Exactly. So true. That was rousing. Big shout out to... Um, the Warband Native League organizers as well. It's a great tournament. It's going on right now. 38 teams are in this thing. It's big. It's a big deal. That it's, is big. That it's is, big just, stuff. The NA scene does not know this type of... Stuff, um, it's like a scale. It's yeah. Like a scale, yeah. So your man of the match, Bendetto. I think mine too. Bendetto was sick. We loved him. Yes. Great to watch. Really Lots entertaining. Good players, though. They were... Well, I think Bendetto and Stavros, Bendetto and Stavros, their teamwork was great as archers. They must have great communication, so it was a, really a pleasure they to watch. They did great because their team allowed them to do great. How many times did someone on Bendetto's team hit someone, lure him out to make a slice back, and yeah. then Bendetto shot him from a mile away? Just shot him right in the kind of neck or whatever. Because he was watching him. He was watching that guy and waiting for that moment, and then it appeared because his team allowed it to appear. Like, yo. I think Bendetto is probably looking like one of the hottest closed map arches in the scene right now. I think that was sick. I'd love to oh see it. Oh my god, there were, there were multiple 360 no scopes. Oh yeah, and I tell you what, I, I tell you what, I think Siphon, Siphon, got, Siphon needs an honorable mention for that clutch that he pulled out. And there was a two-hander, but why did they not bring out the two-hander in the big 
big old street fight. Yeah, I would have thought that that would be useful. I, well, the I, problem. Well, what two hander are you gonna use? You don't have the Swadian ones. You only got like the the miniature cleaver, the sort of war oh, cleaver, wait. which sucks. And you the, the two handed war cleaver. That's that sucks though. It's like it's too slow and it's uh, it's maybe not as good. Maybe it's also because GK siege does mods to the weapons and yeah, maybe. You know. And it's just siege, so yeah, it's it's, it's was just a big two hander. Like yeah, this. just I, it saddens me deep down that the two hander is like more realistic in this mode where yeah you can't <laughs> slice in everyone it, it brings a slight tear to my eye but but it's esports though it has its own intensity its own glamour its own glory we do love it uh i think that's pretty much a closing thought for me make sure you check out the tournament and check out future streams because they will be going on i will be doing more of these tell me what you think of them i want to hear yep. your thoughts because i will i will respond to them and um it's important i always want to improve the stream uh, I'll definitely be commenting more with E-Man. I love it. I love commenting with you, E-Man. It's fun. It's great. Yes, thank you. You yeah, bring a lot to the stream. I think you did a great job. I'm trying to... I, I don't know. This, this yin and yang we got is better... Better synced. <laughs> better synchronized. Yeah, well, let's not make it too sort of homoerotic. I think we, you know, we can be... Aww. We can be platonic... Platonic <laughs> good co-casters. Not that I've got anything wrong with homosexuals. Or, you know, I'm certainly not homophobic no. anyway. I've got no... <laughs> you gotta put a freaking disclaimer. Well, you know, I... It's not, yeah. Can they get married in Turkey? Let me ask this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to ask that. Can it's can big issue here. can can gays get married in Turkey? Why, but it is. Can gays get married in Turkey? Uh, no, no is the answer to that question. <laughs> obviously not. You obviously never. Be, you obviously don't know much about Turkey. Like seriously. Uh, okay. Captain Lust says screw the homos because in the good old US. <laughs> okay, you have right. <laughs> I'm not Turkish, right? Like I don't. I'm oh, not wait, you're not. Come on. No? You could- I don't know. Serious? I mean, you could be in Turkey, you could have been natural, I mean, a citizen, I don't know. I'm English. Oh, is that, you are? Is that not obvious to you? Like, you're messing with me right now. I, I, you're messing with I, me right now. Tell me you're messing I'm, with me. I'm American, dog. What? <laughs> <laughs> Accents? I don't know. He's, there's a big world out there, but not- Oh, I don't, I don't believe this. Wow. Okay. No, I'm English. I live in Turkey. I work in Turkey. But I'm English. Why not the most. Move to Turkey. Work for Tailwords, man. Work for the best game in the world. You. Work for you the to work for the greatest game ever made. To work on a game. What life? My life was warband before this. Anyway, let's stop. We don't have to talk about me for the whole time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nice commitment, though. Thanks for wow. thanks for watching, everyone. Good night. Thanks for watching this stream. Probably Follow, tweet, watching. watch Eman's YouTube. Tell me your comments. Hashtag WNL2. Um, Peace been, out. You've been great.